Hi Virgo, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're doing well. We're gonna do a mid-October 2022 money and career read for you, all right? Let's jump right into it and pull from this small money and career deck and see what we get for you. We're gonna pull one or two cards, all right? But keep in mind this is general, so just take what resonates. And I do more than appreciate your likes, your comments, your subscriptions to the channel if you haven't joined this uh, amazing Virgo tribe already, all right? What do we have for my Virgos? Money and career for mid-October. Okay, I'm hearing staying focused. I feel like nose to the grind, right? Just doing what you got to do and doing it well. But I do sense that there's thoughts of a specific somebody or multiple people, connections, um, other levels of success in your life that you desire coming to mind while you're working. Um, it just feels like you could be a bit overworked. I'm not surprised. You're a very hard working sign. But we do have three amazing um cards coming out um which is a lot for this mid-month reading but we have financial rewards extreme abundance and luck is on your side absolutely amazing one by one you're going to be gaining financial rewards um i did see the winning money cards so for some that may be coming into play but i sense that this is rewards for your hard work okay whether it's a foundation you've been building up um setting in place or it could be due to just uh, your experience or just hard work towards a company or towards your business once again. But I sense that you are seeing oneself quite gratified as the abundance flows in in a very extreme way. Now that's not just monetary, so there's other forms of uh, abundance, success, right? Attention, recognition, but I just sense that you're at times, there's the potential to take it for granted, right? Um, but I do feel like there's this overwhelming satisfaction when it comes to all that's just flowing in at this time. I'm hearing it's a time to be a Virgo because luck is on your side, okay? Now I do, I'm not going to be one to push you to go buy a lottery ticket or just a scratch ticket, but I do feel like luck is on your side in more than one way. And I feel like that's when it comes to easily achieving what you need to at work or for your business, okay? But let's uh, jump right to the tarot part of the reading. Bear with me. I do sense that you're speaking a lot in the second half of the month. You're getting a lot accomplished. But I do feel as if there's the potential to get a little bit nervous due to energy or what you're thinking about or just have a lot going on, spiritually messed with, to the point where um, it may get you a little bit flustered, wanting things to be perfect, wanting to see things uh, unravel and be achieved in such a smooth manner but you're going to need to remind oneself or spirit will remind you um they're saying but do it yourself perfection is not something to be attained at this time to be accomplished we need you to uh strive for uh okay relatability strive for uh realistic results okay and I just feel like due to luck being on your side and just all of the rewards abundance flowing in for you in the second half of October, there's no need to force it, okay? Just allow for things to happen with ease and that will impress people even more so. That will assist with the overall results, the overall, um, yeah, the overall end result uh, even more so. But I do sense that you're being put in the spotlight in certain ways, okay? And you may... I feel like your other placements are shining through in that sense where you're just loving to, the sense of being on stage or people just uh, noticing your work or just what you've achieved. Um, you may even be noticed for the financial rewards you're receiving or just received recently. But I sense that you're, um, it's this feeling that you need to sort of heal from all the hard work you've put in in the past couple months or just however long it uh, goes back for you. It could be more so due to all that you're dealing with outside of work and, and finances. I just sense that you can't help but think about what needs to be cleaned up financially, what needs to be paid off. Um, it's like this sort of feeling at times where you can never really get ahead um, uh, or just break even, but I feel like that's part of why you're gaining a level of financial rewards. Okay, I do sense that there's a new opportunity to expand one's business, uh, move up in the company you're working for, or just it could be a completely new opportunity as far as a job or something of the sort, or a new business idea, and that's leaving you feeling quite abundant. Okay, um, I'm hearing this will be a wish fulfillment. 
We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Emperor coming out. There's this overly serious way about you in the second half of the month. But then there's moments where you crack a smile, you have fun, you enjoy the attention. But I do sense that you're just creating and developing once again with ease. And it's leaving the wheel turning for you in a very successful manner. Two major arcanas coming out because I feel like it's a turning point towards more success for you. A turning point towards more of what you deserve. Less likely to slip up when it comes to you achieving with ease once again. But I just sense that once again, little slip ups when it comes to how you speak or just nervous energy. That may be what makes you uh, a little bit flustered. But I do sense that you're seeing, um, they're showing me several wheels turning, all right? It's like the wheels are turning in Virgo's mind and you just might overdo that to a certain extent. But I sense that you're just feeling on a roll to, um, at certain points, okay? Or the second half of the month in general. Someone was closing their door to their car outside and it made me a little bit on the edge of my seat, right? And I feel like it added to the reading to an extent, but I need to relax, okay? And there's going to need to be reminders to oneself at a certain point or certain points in the second half of the month. I got to breathe. I got to breathe. I There needs to be recognition that it's not what necessarily what you're wrapped up in. It might be but I just feel like energy is affecting you, okay? Whether that's at work, at home, both, you name it, who you think of or who you're energetically connected to might play into it all the meanwhile. But there's gonna be reminders that you deserve the gifts of abundance from the universe coming in at this time. And I'm now hearing from your spirit guides, we have your back, we have your back. But I also sense for some of you, this is a new um, opportunity wrapped up into um, your future financial success, okay? Once again, whether that's an expansion for your business, um, moving up in the company or a pay raise, it could be a, just a whole new job or business idea. It came out twice in this reading for a reason, okay? Um, we'll remind you as many times as needed, but I do sense that there's going to be moments in the second half of the month where you just put in the hard work, even if you're not fully in the mood or you just feel like it's very taxing in certain ways. But then you also need to recognize that there needs to be that balance in parts of the month, uh, remainder of the month that don't need your hard work. We need you to rest. We need you to balance it out with some rest, relaxation, some fun. Uh, expressing uh, oneself in one way, shape or form needs to come into play. Some of you that might happen during, you know, when working, but I do feel like you need to as well find a way to express oneself, get a release outside of your money and finances, because there's going to be thoughts of what you lack at certain points, and that may just stress you out a bit, but we can't have you stressed at this time, um, because I do feel like there's the potential you could manifest against the luck that's on your side, and that just can't happen, okay? We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. I do sense that you're feeling a bit perplexed, a bit blinded to the financial success that lies ahead for you, the ultra, ultra um, excuse me, the ultra comfort in regards to your home life, in regards to um, your finances, in regards to your career situation. But I do sense that some confirmation, some clarity may flow in but not enough to fully satisfy you or to leave you feeling 1000% confident moving forward, but it's up to you to just move forward with a level of trust, right? In the universe and your spirit guides and the fact that things are just gonna fall into place much better than they have up until this point. Even if I feel like a lot drawn to this reading have succeeded in a lot of different ways recently. Um, okay, what slowed down recently isn't meant to last much longer. But I do sense that you're thinking about um, the comfort of your pets or other people's pets, your home life. Once again, recent changes in financial investments like your home life and how you wish to switch it up moving forward. OK, if that pertains to you. But I just sense as well, there's a bit of a defensive behavior about you or way about you that flows to the surface at work or at home, both. Um, but I just feel as if that needs to be cooled off, right? Put to rest so you can move forward with the utmost, uh, with the most professionalism or just, um, composing oneself as you move towards your ultimate, excuse me, your ultimate fulfillment. 
I also just feel like you're going to be at a loss for words at a certain point, but I just sense that you're doing what you have to do when you have to do it, but just don't overdo it. Once again, don't force it because there's this reminder that as luck is on your side, you're meant to experience this extreme abundance. Okay. So let it flow in as it's meant to. All right. So I hope this was truly helpful. Sending you so much love and light. Go enjoy the rest of your month and I'll see you next time. Bye Virgo.